Hi, <laughs> hi everybody. Good evening and welcome to your very own Bye Two Six Two Eight channel. I'm Ashwarya and I'm Ankita and welcome to our class, everyone. So yes. you're like, who's going to say first? Is it me? Is it Ankita, ma'am? Both of us were waiting for each other. But yeah, that's how excited we are for today's class, everybody. So as you know, yes, right? I hope all of you here are ready. All of you here are excited for yet another amazing class on Hooked on to GK, where in the series, Ankita, ma'am, and I come with some interesting topics where every week you learn something new and you refresh your memories, right? So everybody, I hope all of you are excited for today's class. As you can see, both of us are super duper excited. Yes, everyone. So I hope that all of you are ready for the session see we picked this topic from the list from the previous session right we asked you to write in the comment section that which topic we should pick and majority of you majority of you were saying that let's have a session in which we are discussing about the scientists and their inventions so here we are in today's class we have who invented few things and of course we will be discussing about the scientists and of course their inventions so get ready everyone so yes, so as you know, it's going to be a mentee quiz. Now, for those of you who are very new to the class and probably you stumbled upon this video thinking, what is this hooked on to GK? What is this who invented the telescope? What's going on in this class? So mainly hooked on to GK is this amazing series as a part of many beautiful series that run on Baiju 6 to 8 channel, wherein we will be asking you some general knowledge based questions on different topics. And every week, same on Wednesday, right? At this particular time at 6 p.m., both of us come and we help you out with it. And it'll be a mentee live quiz, so you can go ahead and check it out. And everyone, as you all know, right? If we need to start the quiz, ma'am, what should they do? Please make sure, everyone, the only, only small request we have from our side is to make sure to hit the like button. And if you're new here, please do subscribe to our channel because, as ma'am already told you, we have so much more on our channel. Just one small snip, -nit, snip of what we do. We have amazing sessions. So please make sure you go out, subscribe first and go through the channel where we have all that you need in your academics, in your NCRT solutions and of course for your motivation and strategy sessions. Yes. So everybody, as you all know, we have around 90 plus students watching this live with us. So everybody, first thing you need to do is to hit that like button and do not forget to subscribe because we have so many amazing things. Now, if you think, ma'am, why should I subscribe and maybe let me have a look, I tell you, it, within 15 minutes of this class, after you see how amazing it is, you will only subscribe by default, right? So everybody, quickly, and yes, let's pray that there is no mentee glitch today. So everyone, quickly make sure that you go and join the quiz. So ma'am, we'll have the quiz for them. Yes, everyone, you, if you're new here, if you don't know how to join the mentee quiz, I can see, May, uh, I think Ayush is asking. So it's a very easy, you open a new tab, write www.menti.com. They will be asking you for a code and the code is 177272098. It's there on the top and of course, you we will have it in the chat also. Yes, Gungun will have it in the chat. One double seven double two zero nine eight. Easy peasy. Yes, I can see all of you are really very excited, everyone. Very good, very good. Quickly join the quiz and before that, join the quiz and before that, please make sure to hit the like button for the video. We will start at 100. Yes, everyone. So see, you need to have 100 likes and then only the quiz is going to get started. But I'm talking about quiz. You Yo. see that a qu our biggest quiz is coming live very soon, right? Yes. So everyone, those of you who have registered, I'm sure, you got the notification that 28th of January, right? Will be an amazing day with Arana Man will be coming live. And of course, we have the quiz master. So, there's still some chance. If you haven't registered, everyone, please make sure to register for it. It's absolutely free, right? And of course, on 28th of January, we will be waiting for this quiz. Yes. So this quiz is a Benti quiz, but this quiz masters is going to be an amazing, yet another beyond your imaginations quiz that is going to be there. Mom, the team is working very hard, right? Yeah. To put a lot of things together for all of you. So go ahead and make sure that you do register. Do not forget. And mom, I think with that, we are ready to start. Yes. But how many likes do we have on this video? Just five and now, I guess, but I think it will increase now. Everyone, please make sure to quickly hit the like button. 85 is the number, right? Just remember. Hello, hello, everyone. Yes. Bo 87, okay. Both of us. So I'm from Rajasthan, Mam is from Bangalore. Bangalore. 
मैम इजी क्वेश्चन देना हाँ हाँ मैम दे सम आर इजी नो सारे क्वेश्चन इजी है यू नो दी आंसर ओके यू टेल मी शुड आई पार्टिसिपेट मैम यस मैम विल आल्सो पार्टिसिपेट डू यू ऑल वांट अंकिता मैम टू पार्टिसिपेट विथ यू सौरभ सर इज फुल इन हाई डिमांड बट सैडली सौरभ सर इज नॉट देयर नाउ I, we don't know where Saurabh sir is. He'll be somewhere outside. But you, we all have us, no? So yes, we'll get started. Yes, yes. Okay. So Jasmine sir, before we get started, can we increase the font a little more? Comment font. Okay. All right. Very good, everybody. Very good, ma'am. Have we hit at least ninety? Yes, ma'am. Let me just see. Yes, eighty-nine, everyone. That's one more like button, and we will get started. Very good. Very good. Happy birthday, Shruti. Ninety-one. Let's get started, ma'am. Yes. Okay. I am also joining, but I know the answers. It will be kind of fun, fair, right? Yeah. Yes. Don't ask me to find ball and hat and all these things. I'm very bad at it. Okay, the ma'am is good, but today, see, we have a name. We want to finish by six thirty, ma'am. Can yeah. we finish ten questions by six thirty? Yes, definitely. We we are hundred, and yeah, we have to finish really very soon because we have other classes. So let's get started, everyone. Thank you all. All the best to each one of you. Two rules. You have to pick the correct answer, and the faster you vote, the more points you will get. And I am not participating, so that I can focus in class and not play <laughs> mentee with, along with you. So let's get started, everyone. Here we go with the question number one, and all the best. Here we have question number one. Question number one, ma'am. Uh, here. Oh, easy peasy question, everyone. The father of the white revolution is. I think we don't have to look at the names also, right? I'm sure you have heard about it. Yes. So everybody, we are. You need to identify who is the father of White, White Revolution. Revolution. So we have A. Patanjali, we have Chandra Jagdish Chandra Bose, then we have Kuren, then we have Raja Ramana. Ramana. Easy peasy, everyone. Now, of course, I I can give you a lot of hint over here. Very good, very good. And the correct answer is option number C. Very good. Right. I'll not call the name of the brand out, but of course. We have seen lots of ad. We usually use the butters, cheese, everything, and of course, he's the one who took the charge, right, of making sure the milk is actually reaching to the right people without any middlemen. And of course, they used to take much, so much money from the uh, the cattle herder, right? They they used to breed. They used to take care of the cattle. They will be selling the milk in the market, but of course, these people will take a huge, a very huge amount of some of money from them. So what he did, he made an amazing system where the milk can go directly into the industries, and from there they'll get the money. And definitely, yes, very good, everyone. Very good, yes. So adding on to that, how many of you remember when, especially in grade eight, when we just learned about industries and we learned about different sectors, right? We learned about how there's a cooperative sector, right? How many of you remember cooperative sector? Exactly. So in this case, we know that cooperative sector. This is an example of the same. Green Revolution is Norman Burlaw overall, right? So internationally, when you look at it, it is Norman Burlaw. Yes, yes, yes. We will give you an. We will give you some time. Exactly. We did this in SST. So now you know who is the father of White Revolution. Yes. Now with this, everybody, we will move on to question number two, right? Leaderboard after five questions. Okay. So everybody, I'm giving you time to write the question so that nobody's. I mean, write your name so that nobody's like, "Ma'am, I didn't write my name." <laughs> so you can write my. You can write your name now. Okay. Jaldi, jaldi. We'll get started. Swami Nathan. Yes, in India, right? Especially with the rice variety, it was Swami Nathan. But overall, when you look at Green Revolution for wheat, it started with Norman Burlock, right? Yes. Halwa question. Now looking at question number two. I don't know how much of halwa this is. Oxygen was independently discovered by who? Okay, so we have Rutherford, we have William Ramsay, Joseph Priestley, and Neil Bohr. Oh, I, I mean, think we can do. Will, yeah, they'll need some time. Will we don't? Ma'am, do you want to leak the answer? No. Achha. They already keep calling me leakosaurus. They're like every given opportunity you're giving the answer. So I will be quiet today. <laughs> Yes, that's amazing, Divyanga. Welcome to our family. Amazing, right? I can see the answers. Very good. Yay! <laughs> so everybody, well done. And for those of you who have just joined, everyone, quickly, just now, can we have the code sent on the chat once again? The code is on top. One seven double one double seven double two zero nine eight. But the correct answer is Joseph Priestley, who discovered. 
oxygen he didn't discover he didn't invent oxygen but rather he discovered it now an interesting thing is he was not the first person who actually discovered it okay that's one thing to understand there was another scientist who was performing experiments on red magnesium and magnesium dioxide if i remember it right and he said that it's able to burn because of some you know fire air that is there he called it he said that there's some fire air but this thing in this case if you see right it was joseph priestley who identified that it was the oxygen in the air that was actually enable en enabling combustion which is why the correct answer is joseph priestley okay divyangana okay divyangana very nice name very beautiful hi. name yes hi nice name okay cute na yes harsimran only named me i think <laughs> yes okay well, well done everyone all of you know the answer to this and mom i think we can move on to the yes. question number 3 question three. number 3 everyone question number 3 on your screen yes janev we are very fast fast let's see question number 3 on your screen everyone and here we go the question number 3 is really very easy which of the following invention were done by the thomas alva edison edison so we have the lamp we have compound microscope telescope or all of the above so let me tell you about him right is a very easy thing he he was he was in different fields all together he was an amazing amazing inventor right he was a businessman also definitely had so much more on his name right so everyone quickly pick the correct answer this is in ankita ma'am's words kaju katli question ha it's very kaju katli today we had so much of kaju katli <laughs> Yes, very good, everyone. Eighty-three of you have got over the correct answer, but I can see thirty-six of you got confused with it. So telescope, you already know, right? Galileo, compound microscope. We have go. If you go back from the cell, I'm sure you all have studied about the cell, right? We know that the sim, very the primitive one was, of course, by Robert Hooke, right? And then, of course, we have a little bit more addition to them. We have the Leeuwenhoek. So, of course, very good, very good. So let's see, right? Of course, we have. He was a very amazing person, inventor plus the businessman, right? And yeah, he was the one who did have the invention of the electrical bulb. <laughs> Yay! So well done, everybody. Well done. Yes, and everyone in the chat, stay focused to what we are learning today. You have lots of other questions for us. We know everyone, but we need you to stay focused on all we know about the different inventors, right? Yeah. So stay focused in class. Let's not di digress from what we're learning today, and let's move on to question number four, right? Here we go. Here we go. I'm good, everyone. Both of us are good. Thank you for asking, Aditi. Yes, Ishwa. We're moving to the next question, and here we have question number four, everyone. Yes. So let's see what question number four is. Who was the first woman to win Nobel Prize? Very simple question. We have a uh, Lovelace, we have Rosalind Franklin, Mary Curie, and Rachel Carson. Now there are two options in which I know you may get confused, but think about it, okay? Yes. Very good, everyone. Very good. First woman to win the Nobel Prize, right? I'm sure. The first woman in the history who won the Nobel Prize must have did something amazing, right? And of course, this is not very recent time. She won the Nobel Prize way back, long, long. So yeah, ooh, one twenty-six of you have voted for this. Very good, everyone. So you know that Marie Curie was the one who won the Nobel Prize for the first time, and what she discovered was, or she was famous for her work in radioactivity, where she discovered radium, polonium, polonium, I think, right? And it's also necessary, and she also had a lot of contributions to treatment towards cancer. So she's done a lot of important work. And the funny thing is, because she was working with radioactive elements all her life, sadly that affected her body, and because of that, you know, she. you know she lost her life right because she was working with radioactivity and now that's why i think in radioactive labs we have a lot of precaution taken yes. by scientists yes. so that they know that these elements can be harmful which is why the body must be fully protected so there's one good thing about her and about her husband also both of them literally when we say now they gave their life to science at the discovery right even though they know in the initial time that you know it might be Harming their health, they took the charge, and of course, they contributed towards the science. Yes, yes. Polonium, polonium, polon, polo, polonium. Sorry, my bad. My spelling. I mean, I was intending polonium, but I said polonium. But polonium. Thank you for that, MLB dreamer. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Thank you, everyone. Let's move to question number five. I think it will be a question. 
which will be very easy everyone let's move ahead and let's see okay i don't have to read the question also i can just read the first word the first antibiotic penicillin and we know who discovered it all of you should be getting this answer yeah. correctly i <laughs> both of us have screamed on top of our voices regarding this yeah so i am hoping that all of you get this answer correctly so we just even if i read the options we'll have the answer Watson, come on, Watson. Okay, someone is saying Edwin Jenner. Very good. That's a very good answer. <laughs> Then we have Fleming, Craig, and Henry. Very good. One thirty. One of you have. What was the correct answer? And everyone, the correct answer is Alexander Fleming. Right. I'm sure you all have studied about him, especially class eighth student in your chapter microorganism. Very easy, easy. Right. He was the first one to first one to discover the antibiotic. An antibiotic is the one that is working against the bacteria will make sure the bacteria are not growing right so yeah we have this amazing invention and a very amazing uh, discovery and you know that like in the history through all the different textbooks and the articles i'm sure that you will read people usually say that he actually discovered this by some accident basically he was not doing this yeah but yeah it see so sometimes science have the other way around these are those accidental you know discoveries that yeah, are that there happens. so this was you know um especially like we know he was culturing the bacteria to study something else altogether he left it and when he came back he realized that oh my god my bacterial culture is gone but what he realized was another organism penicillium notatum was growing on it and then he realized that and that's the thing right most scientists would have just said okay it's contaminated let me yeah. just throw it away but he decided to study and understand why that happened so asking questions and being more curious is what is needed to be a scientist right because 99% of the population would have just thrown it but that 1% of the population would think and that's when these major discoveries happen yes. that are super beneficial so yes we will show you the leader report but but before that see all the discoveries and all the inventions and all the amazing people that we study in science and different other field are the one who have question they are the one who will be questioning why 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 yeah. please make sure to question throughout your life and yeah your name could be here and we'll be doing a quiz on you so, yes yeah. you never know tomorrow <laughs> we'll be like you know what amritanj he was a great scientist yeah. who did that So, mom, you'd like to take the leaderboard? Yes, definitely. So we have Videshwar, who's the fastest one. Then we have MLB Dreamer, Manas. We have Shreyu. Then we have Raj, Aryan, Manjit, our inventor. Very good, Manjit. Then we have Himanshi, Sanya, and Gauri. Very good. And I can read one comment saying that, ma'am, your voice is low. How is that possible? <laughs> Both of us are here. It is impossible until maybe you have put your phone on a very low volume setting. So yes. I would like you to increase your volume, right? Okay. Oh, nice name. Thank you. Thank you, Sharvari. Your interesting name. We'll use it. Hashtag. Yes, that's our hashtag <laughs> from now. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Very good, everyone. Thank you for sharing your uh, sharing your ranks with us. But please do remember, everyone. Every week when we come over here, it's our way, right? It's our way of saying that you know, let's learn something new. Every week we are just actually adding no. more information to our mind so that we'll remember it and slowly slowly that's how we grow our knowledge yes so well done everybody and see you have a long way to go a lot of more interesting questions so without wasting any more time let's go to question number 6 but before i go to question number 6 i know and i hope all of you have heard about by juice national scholastic and personality test now this is the first time that you're hearing about it ankita ma'am and i will take 2 minutes of your time to quickly tell you why this test is important now this particular test will be happening across all the by juice tuition centers or the btc centers and this will not be an online exam and this will be an offline exam where you will be having an omr sheet and you will be giving a pen and paper exam and here in this particular uh, particular you know uh, test you will have questions coming of course from your cbsc syllabus that is there but at the end they will evaluate you on maths and science but ma'am how exactly is this test different from yeah. everything else so after this test right this this particular test will be giving you an analysis 15 page 15 page very uh, i i can call it a long analysis but including all the important points that will be helping you to plan your studies to plan your future in a amazing way so this particular test will be giving you your subject preference like what are your stronger points will be telling you about that what career will be suitable for you and definitely will be telling you about how you behave right 
more about how you can develop certain skill set and what are the skill set that you already have. So everyone, it's absolutely free as Sinan is asking. Please make sure, please make sure to register for it and find the new BTC center and go and write the examination. Examination is there this weekend, right? We have 21st yes. and 22nd. If you need some more time, don't worry, you can actually register for 28th and 29th also. And then we have in Feb also. Yes. So go ahead, register, tell your friends as well. Because of course, what you do stand a chance is to win scholarships to the BT uh, scholarships or for multiple things, right? So see, there are a lot of things which are up for grabs here. And as you know, it's a math and science, science quiz and all of you are pros at it. Yeah. But this will give you a detailed understanding of what chapters or what concepts are your strong suits. What could be like when you want to think about your future, what could be the possible options, right? So these are things that would, it will definitely help you out. So go ahead and just check it out. So Harsimran, the timings here are of course not mentioned. Normally the timings are in the morning. There would be slots, okay? There are multiple slots. So once you register, there will be a helpline number. So it, there'll be a link in the description below. You can click on that link. It will take you to our website where all the FAQs are there for more detailed information, right? So you will be able to check it out. And of course, from there, you will get all the details that you need, right? Yes, Gungun is like, ma'am, they, they will send you an email. So you just need to register everything will come to you okay so now that we have told you guys let's move on to question number six okay this is a very very important thing now before i show you question number six please make sure that you go ahead and you don't forget to like anybody who has come late to class and is enjoying the class then you make sure that you like this video and do not forget to hit that subscribe button very important subscribing is more important right ma'am yes very very important everyone so please make sure you hit the like button because we have 150 of you but it's okay. We will stop again. But everyone, let's take a look at question number six, ma'am. Go ahead. Sorry. No, no. <laughs> I pressed up on this one quickly. Anyway, coming to this. The velocity of light mm. was discovered, I mean, was first measured by who? Einstein, Newton, Romeo or Galileo? Even if you don't know who did it, you ah. do elimination and you get the answer. Yeah. That's it. One very foreign name which is there. <laughs> which I haven't heard very common. Ma'am has already given you the answer. <laughs> There's only one foreign name which looks to me like less heard, I would say. Not foreign, I would say less heard. <laughs> wow, everyone. 89 of you have voted for the correct answer. Yes, yeah, see, like I told you, I gave you the hint already. I gave you... I told you how to go about it. If you don't know, you see the options. You had Einstein, Newton, Galileo, right? We know what Einstein has done. We know what Newton has done. We know what Galileo has done. And in this case, right, all you're left with is Ole Romeo, right? So he was a Danish astronomer, okay? And he was the one, or earlier what people believed that they thought that light is instantaneous, right? When you switch on the light, light just comes, right? He, they never really realized that there was, you know, a velocity you can attach to light, right? And Ro what Romier did was he was observing, you know, the sun, the earth and the, you know, Jupiter and he was observing the movements and he was very curious. And based on all of this, he decided that, you know, what light travels and that's the velocity of light, right? So that is what he did and that's how the measure of velocity of light comes into the picture. So now with this, of course, we will move on to the next one. That is question number seven. Everyone, please make sure to go ahead and all the best. Let's see question number seven, everyone. Here we go. Question number seven, everyone on your screen. Who invented the telephone? Easy. Th Thomas Alva Edison. We have Alexander Graham Bell, Galileo, and we have G. Macroni. Nice. Again, you can use the elimination method over here. Yes. Done. Very easy, right? And please do tell me what he said when he made the first phone call. Very good. Very good, everyone. Ankita Ma'am is a great hint giver. Yes. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> I, lo I love the sound of it. <laughs> At least they're not telling that you're leaking it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what. Very good, everyone. And the correct answer is one, uh, sorry, not 137 of you have given the correct answer. The correct answer is Alexandra Graham Bell, right? And of course, no, he didn't call his wife and say hello. He called his assistant. And Watson, of course, he called him, Watson, can you come here? Something like that. <laughs> not exact, I don't remember the exact center, but yeah, he's the one who called, yeah, who called his assistant the very first time. Very good, everyone. So we have it. Let's quickly see question number eight. I think it will be eight. Yes, ma'am, it's eight. 
And here we go. Option number eight on leaking tag is just for you. Oh, okay. This, I will know, you know the answer to this. I'm hoping. Who developed the vaccination against smallpox? Is it Lister, Fleming, Jenner, Pasture? You can eliminate one option because you know what one of the scientists has already done. Yes. We have this answer and I have said this word earlier in today's class, few minutes back. You can go rewind it and come back here again. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Very Why are good. you not giving the leaking tag to her? I have leaked a lot of questions. Thank you. Thank you. Very good, everybody. Very good. Because when you talk about the first vaccine, it was developed by Edward Jenner, right? And we know that smallpox was a very dangerous disease that was taking a lo lot of people's lives. Yes. And he was the one who dis discovered that on introducing dead and weakened microbes into the body, people were developing immunity against it. And over time, smallpox has been eradicated. Yes. So for people who voted Fleming, this is a reminder for you that Fleming discovered antibiotic vaccine is different, right? So everyone, moving on to the question number nine. Yes, question number nine, everyone, on your screens. Now, of course, before we go to question number 10. This is now question number nine, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Uh, easy. All of you should vote for this, everyone. Albert Einstein was a famous what? I don't have to read the options, everyone. I think <laughs> there are two options. People may get confused. And I, I, I don't remember the, uh, maybe, I hope there's no glitch over here. I have a very strong feeling. Because, you know, till now we don't have any glitch. And we are on question number 9. Let's hope. Keep popping across, everyone. I hope we don't have any glitch. Yes. Easy peasy. Very good. Very good, everyone. Let's see the questions. I want all of you to be legend. Come on. Very good. 88 of you have voted for the correct answer. Famous Albert Einstein was a physicist. Of course, he was studying physics, right? He was yes. a physician. Now, everybody understand this. Physician is with respect to a doctor, right? Yeah. Who checks for you physically, a general doctor who is there. Because like I said, there are two options you will get confused with. Person who studies physics, physics will not be a physician, but he will be a physicist. Yes. And yeah, though this question was really very easy, but I can see that many of you got confused. But I hope that now you know the answer. So everyone, we'll have the question number 10. But before that, for final time, Please make sure, go and hit the like button. Yes, please make sure. See, I think we have more than 155 of you are here in the class. Yeah, so we have over 150 live watching. We need to have 150 likes. So let's quickly hit 150 likes and then we will wind up the class and I can see it's going to 148 likes. Two more likes, everyone, and we are done. So let's get started with the final question for today. All the best, everyone. Let's see. Yay! 158 likes. Sir, C.V. Raman is famous for what? Raman diagram, is it gravitational laws, law of refraction or Raman effect? Easy peasy, right ma'am? Yes. Very good, very good. We can see the answers coming and someone is like ma'am, I was the 150th like. Nice. Now we are at 163 of 164, very good everyone. Next time, we will we'll aim it for 200, right? Yes. Now? Today also we can aim 200. Yeah, today also. We still have some time. Very good, everybody. Very good. The correct answer here is Raman effect. Now, when we talk about Raman effect, we know that it again comes to the laws of physics, right? And especially with light scattering. So basically, he figured out that when there is a colored ray that goes into a certain medium, what comes out was a different colored ray, ray that was there, right? Which is why due to this difference or what he understood was because there was some scattering that was happening and you learn more about it anyway later on from, you know, Saurabh sir and later on in higher grades, but this is to give you a sm small understanding of what do we mean by Raman effect, right? So the correct answer, yes, the heading says Edward Jenner, but you know it is C.V. Raman, yes, right? Yeah. So correct answer is C.V. Raman. It's a glitch, just when there, no problem, no problem at all. Thank you for telling us. Yes. yes. And now, of course, with this, we are going to be having a looking look at the last leaderboard for today. Congratulations, Nitesh for getting 9,627 points. Then we have MLB Dreamer, we have Aryan, Nishinvi, the great. Then we have Raj, Himanshi, Baspaskarado, Ashwini Kumar, 
Then I can see Anshika, Gauri, Anmol, who's the fastest. Anshika. And Jimin got no jams. That's Tracy. Welcome. <laughs> Congratulations. Right? Well done, everybody. Well done. Very proud of all of you. Yes, yeah, so many of you are like, Mom, I got 13th. I got 11th rank. Okay. Very good. Very good. Who is clapping? We are clapping. Right? So very proud of all of you. Yay. And... Just with the end of this. On. This is something really, very really good, right? We're ending it on a good note because we know that your examination are here. Please make sure to watch out all the crash course session that we are putting it on our channel from 23rd of January so that you can easily revise. Okay, please make sure to watch it and we'll move ahead really, very really quickly and we say we have got you covered and we do. Right. And before we wind the session up, what do you want for next week? Let us know in the comments below. Yes. We need to have the comments. We should have at least 50 comments on this video telling us, ma'am, this is what we want next, right? So use the hashtag Ankishwarya in the chat, I mean in the comments as well. Yes. We shall start a new hashtag. Use the hashtag and then maybe you never know, you might get picked, right? Hashtags will have preference. So go ahead, use the hashtag and tell us what you want next. And with this, of course, we are winding up another amazing CD session with Hook.GK. Yes, bye everyone. Do take care of yourself and keep on learning with Baijus. Bye-bye.